What is going on, Galafam? Galadon back again with another Lineage 2 Revolution video. And, okay, you guys, yes, I'm just full disclosure, this is a sponsored video by the folks at Lineage 2, but look at the top left corner of the screen carefully and tell me what you see. Level 62. Do I have the developer build? No. Have they given me free gems or a way to level up faster? No. I just love this game okay I, i'm just being dead honest with you guys like i always am i am loving this game and i am playing it on my own okay this is hours of play although i am leveling pretty quickly and i will give you guys some tips for leveling quickly in this game i have to tell you okay first of all the link to download the game is in the description please go and download the game, and if you do, if you choose to go to the server Jiran01, that's where I am, G-I-R-A-N-01, go to that server, and if you're a newer player, come join the clan Galafam, alright, come join the Galafam, I want you guys in there, I want to play with you guys, I'm going to be starting alt accounts, this is just my main right here, uh, I'm go going to be playing other accounts at other levels and other classes, uh, because right now I've got the rogue, he's a melee DPS, but I want to play a healer. I, I would love to play a warrior as well, a spellcaster. Gonna try all those things out. And, and that's the thing about this game. Look how in depth it is. There is so much that you can do, but not that you must do. That is the great thing about it. It's a game that you can pick up and put down after just a couple of minutes, any time of the day or night. And basically, if you want to make it easy, follow the red dots. You see the red dots at the top right of each of these dungeons? That means there's something yet to be done there today, and I'm just going to go through some of these and show you, uh, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, if this game had been available five years ago, when I first downloaded a very well-known mobile game that I've played a lot over the last five years, well, things would have been a lot different because this is what I was looking for back then. I mean, I was a huge EverQuest player, a huge World of Warcraft player. I love MMORPGs, but until now, you couldn't get one to really run to work on your mobile device. And now, I play this game a lot on my phone. I play it on my phone, and it absolutely runs perfectly smoothly. I also play it on my iPad as well, just to look at the bigger graphics. And I play it on my desktop computer also, but we'll get into that uh, another time. But yeah, so I'm having a blast playing this game. It is an MMORPG, and it's huge though. I mean, if you remember back to the days of the MMORPGs that you played, well, maybe you could do a 25-man heroic raid. Well, right now in the game, they have 50-man clan dungeons. Yes, 50, and yes, man and woman, okay, boy and girl. Everybody's, everybody's invited, and I am participating in those nightly. That's also a future video I want to show you guys. A 50-person clan dungeon, and that's just the beginning. I see that they're getting ready to add Castle Siege. Uh, we're talking about 100, 200 or more people on the screen at once. It's going to be crazy. Uh, so you can do it with other people in groups of 50 right now. You can go in groups of five players and go for the smaller dungeons. Or if you don't have the time or the effort or the desire, you can play by yourself. These are dungeons I'm showing you right here that you can clear on your own. Okay, I'm by myself, and I'm on the 45th floor. See the top right of your screen? 45th floor of the Tower of Insolence. I love the name, by the way. But uh, check out the graphic. Check out the slow motion kill. And come on, level 63, baby. That's right. I just dabbed. I, I promise. If you watch my live streams, you'll see me. I'll I dab at every level. Ding. Yes, level 63, you guys. You want to know a little secret. If you're watching a YouTuber's sponsored video and he's showing you low level intro gameplay then you have no guarantee that he really enjoys the game okay and i'm telling you again I, I hate to repeat myself but i do it a lot i hate to repeat myself but i do it a lot yes i'm level 63 and nobody has accelerated me here i have never gotten a free gem from netmarble this is just me having a blast there are some secrets okay there are some keys to leveling up faster you guys and one of them is to follow the red dots follow the yellow brick road no follow the red dots all day okay you can follow those red dots as much as you like and they're always going to let you know where there's something to be done and there is a lot that can be done now it, again it's not required and i'll tell you this right off the bat you're not going to get a player killed and smashed by higher level players 
uh, you're not going to have the game experience ruined for you like that. Uh, in fact, if you die, which I have done quite a few times, uh, you don't have any penalty. Okay, if you guys remember back to uh, the days of losing experience when you die, having your gear damaged when you die, or having to run from a distant, distant graveyard back to the zone. None of that happens. Now, you do have to run, but I would say the furthest I've had to run when I die is maybe like 10 or 20 seconds. And honestly, right now, most of the dying I do is in the clan dungeons uh, when they are set too hard. Those, those are tough. Now, again, there's these dungeons, There are uh, there's a huge quest line that you can go on. Uh, this is just one of the many dungeons, the Tower of Insolence. And yes, I have made it through 47 floors of this thing, or I've made it to the 47th floor of the Tower of Insolence. And rewards for each floor. This is a unique dungeon in that each floor is slightly more difficult than the previous floor. Okay, and then back out in the real world, here we are. You can see I have a lot of red dots. There's a lot of other dungeons. Uh, the extraction pit, probably the most peaceful one out there, where you gather magical herbs and elixirs, uh, protecting the Temple Guardian, the Adina Vault, uh, the Trials of Experience, and you can PvP against other players. If you're into that, I am definitely loving that. In fact, uh, let's take a look at this. We'll go to the arena. I'm ranked 47th in the world right now. I'm the 47th ranked uh, PvP player in the world. You go up against other players, and there are rewards for defeating them. You can even earn unique titles, but you don't have to. By any means, if that's not your thing, you move on to something else. Uh, another part of this game that I absolutely love, the gear. The items and upgrading, enhancing, uh, you can change substats. There's, it's really, uh, there's a lot you can do over at the Forge with your gear. We'll take a look real quick at the gear I am wearing, working on upgrading stuff. You can see the levels of the gear. There's different classifications. There's different gear for different class of players. This is my armor tab. The first tab was my weapons tab. You can see I'm working on getting to SR. SR items are the highest ranked class items in the game right now. Uh, it goes C, B, A, S, R, and then S, R. So I've got the uh, chest piece there, and I also have it enhanced up to plus eight, which is additional stats that you get for enhancing. So you can also level up your armor, and then you can upgrade your armor once it gets to level 30, like this. Uh, the gloves here, they are level 30, so I can change them from R to S, R, using stones, all right? So you have to get those stones through different quests, different parts of the game. You can also combine, without the stones, you can combine maxed out pieces to get a higher level piece as well to upgrade it that way. So there's a lot of ways around it. Right here, we've got the Class R gloves, and we do have a lot of armor upgrade stones. I've been saving these bad boys for a while. They are one of the uh, one of the things you definitely want to try to find in the game when you can. Uh, and it takes 30 of those to upgrade these gloves. And then it takes 48,000 Adina. Adina is the currency in the game. And we're going to go ahead and do it. There we go. Yeah, and look at that combat power go up by over 1,300. Those are my new SR gloves. And I would love to get into more about substats and bonuses and the right gloves to have for the right situation, but that's definitely a future video. Uh, for now, just wanted to tell you guys again, please, if you get a chance, download the game and come to Jiran01. I would love to see you there and play with you guys in the clan Galafam. Uh, one more thing, you can see the almost endless quest line here on the left-hand side. And the cool thing about it is these quests, a lot of them are auto-completed, meaning that you don't have to wonder where the quest giver is, try to find the mobs. That stuff is kind of run for you, but at the same time, especially when you're in the bigger raids and the groups, there are definitely a lot of things that you need to take into account and a lot of strategy to uh, moving, staying out of cones, avoiding AOE, timing to different mob bosses and things like that. So if you're a big fan of those big involved style MMORPGs as well, then this game is also for you. That's the thing about it. There is so much flexibility to how much or just how you decide to play this game. And again, it's so easy. It is what I wanted years ago because you can pick it up, you can put it down in just a couple of minutes. So this is Lineage 2 Revolution. Download it using that sponsor link down in the description. Again, you guys, join me in the game and I hope to see you guys there. Thank you for watching. You're the true Gala fam. 
Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you again tomorrow for more full Adina attacks.